Hey, what is going on, Reyes fans and YouTube? Y'all know who it is. It's Gabriel Reyes. And yes, I apologize so much. I have so been lacking on my videos for <laughs> these many past months now. Last video I did was I promised Transformers content, such as reviews on the cartoons and all that, but I, hadn't, I didn't keep my promise. And for that, I'm really disappointed in myself because I don't know, she said, I've been lacking a lot of imagination of going back into my videos. But in this video, you're gonna be seeing my original cosplay character. Now, this is something that I've been putting together for quite a long time now. Ever since like looking on social media of many other people who have cosplayed, who I followed on social media, such as their TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even some of their YouTube channels. And dude, Seeing people doing cosplay has really inspired me so much. Because of that, again, this video is not only is gonna be not only is it a showing of my original cosplay character, this is also my comeback video. This is my comeback onto YouTube to get back into doing the video, getting back to doing my videos and doing what I love and hopefully going further now. And with this cosplay character that I'm going to show you guys, I really hope that you guys are going to like it. Now, for the title of, of this character, the name of this character is El Vaquero, the cowboy in Spanish. But, you know, this is something that I put together for quite some time. If you saw my post on, on my channel, like on the community post, as well as my other social media of images of, what's, of what the character is, I can tell you right now that the suit in particular is heavily inspired by Ben Affleck's Batman. The character of, of El Vaquero is inspired by the whole character of Batman overall. So let me show you guys on how I put the suit together of El Vaquero, especially when it's a Western look. All right, you guys, so if you guys can see, you know, this is actually a light gray denim shirt and of course, light denim jeans and, uh, and of course, if you guys have seen like behind the scenes photos of Ben Affleck's Batman suit, the gray palette was all light gray. And of course, when they showed uh, Ben Affleck's Batman suit throughout the whole movies, it, it was still the light gray palette color. But of course, you know, with Zack Snyder's filming style and especially changing the filters, the suit always appeared like really dark gray. But in reality, it was actually light gray. So again, it always gave that illusion. Light gray denim shirt and jeans, all courtesy of Wrangler. Shout out to Wrangler. Okay, you guys, now to show you some of the accessory parts that are going onto the suit to give it the armor, vigilante fighting type of look. So first off is the gloves. Now with the gloves that Batman has or any other hero, they would always have, you know, gauntlet gloves. And with these gloves, you see they have knuckle padding, which definitely gives off the illusion that they got like major hard knuckle plating in there so these are just you know usual leather biker gloves and these go well with what I'm going with so so these gloves definitely an awesome look and of course whenever Batman has a utility belt it's always like either golden or khaki color and for me I'm going with a dark brown Western belt and of course this belt is from Nakona boots really well really well uh, western apparel so the belt really matches well with what i'm going with the suit and also the western boots that i got on these are roper western boots and i've gone with more like a with a point with a toe point of the boots you know to give it the illusion that with the boots that my character would have they would be like steel toe with the point which in which if he ever kicked somebody like it would really hurt them both with with the pointed end of the boot. So shout out to Roper's Western Boots because these are really nice boots. And they definitely look like they could be for combat. All right, so another important thing about the Western wear is the vest. Now this vest is from the Milwaukee Leather Company and they are known for all of their biker for all their leather biker jackets vests chaps boots gloves you name it and of course i got this from milwaukee leather and it's a western biker vest so like overall this is like a really nice vest especially since it definitely gives off the heavy duty look so 
you know, as with my character, again, based off of, you know, the Batman character and everything for El Valguero to have a vest like this, it would definitely have metal plating, the heavy duty vest, this Western biker vest is awesome. And it definitely gives the illusion that this thing is tough. Now, another important thing that's gonna go on this suit is the trench coat. All right, so as you can see, I got on my trench coat and if you guys have seen this coat, then you probably saw it long ago because this is the same double-breasted trench coat that I got from the South Beach, from South Beach Leather Company. And again, this coat is really nice. Now, there are some other stuff to add on to this suit, which is the mask, the hat, and I'll definitely show you guys in just a few seconds. So also one of the first, one of the most important things is putting on the black grease makeup, especially around the eye area, and as course as well as as well as this ski mask to help cover up most of the face. So now that we got this covered, now let's move on to the mask and the hat to go with this suit. All right, you guys. So now with the attic mask and the hat, the suit is now fully complete. But of course, I'll show you guys like the full body of the suit in the photo section that will come up in just a few seconds. So, this is the completed suit of my original cosplay character, El Vaquero. All right, you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed some of those photos of me and my cosplay of El Vaquero. Like I said, this was a cosplay character that I've been, that I've had in my head for such a long time. I'm very proud of the suit that I put together. And this is gonna be my, my first default original cosplay. Again, inspired by Ben Affleck's Batman and the character of Batman overall. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my comeback for my YouTube channel and again if you guys want to see more if you want to join me on my journey through cosplaying as well as video reactions reviews and all the other videos that I have planned that and, and of course that I have on my channel you know what to do subscribe and hit the notification bell as well and give a thumbs up share this video and also don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias on Facebook Instagram, Twitter, or now that it, now it's called X, TikTok, as well as Twitch. And if you guys need to find me, it's Gabriel Reyes OG. All right, you guys, this is Gabriel Reyes. I'm out. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay fly and always look awesome. It's time for the comeback.